Hi, this is a quick video. This is the quick hot air station, TR 1100. Just got here today. I just want to do a quick video to show you the difference between this machine and the original quick 861DW. There's not much explaining the difference between both stations. And I hope this helps someone out. As you can see, it's got a nice display, touch display. But the main difference is, and why they're totally different, and you, you may require both, like myself, is this. As you can see, the handpiece is a lot smaller. Just turn it on. A lot smaller, and as you can see, the end of it is a lot smaller. And over to the nozzles, as you can see, is the 861DW nozzles. There's the TR1100 nozzles. As you can see, these are tiny compared to that's the smallest one they sell. For the quick 861DW and as you can see they're a lot smaller these are big better for more smaller components and if you don't want to put too much heat on the board you want to remove a tiny component without blowing loads of hot air everywhere highly recommended by both these stations I hope this helps someone out. It's got a nice stand. As you can see, you put in your six nozzles. The handpiece is like a pencil compared to the chunky 861DW. But I do highly recommend you buy this. Best hot air station for the money. This was £250 plus VAT. So it come in about 300 quid. This one was about... Just under 200, but you can get it, you know, price varies depending where you buy it from. So yeah, this would be better for iPhone repair. Whereas if you're removing NAND chips, CPUs, anything like that, so you go for the bigger ones. I hope this helps you out. Uh, like like the video if you like the, uh, you want to see some more, and subscribe uh, if you want to see some more. Or dislike if you didn't like the video. Alright, thank you. Hope it helps someone.